Hello friends, welcome back to Dragon Age. After rescuing our friends and family from the evil Tevinter slavers, we are now back at Arl Eamon's estate and I am ready to spill the tea and let him know that Terran Loghain actually was involved with the slavery and the alienage. While we have a break in the action, I do have a lot of gifts that I can give people, so let's see if we can make some friends and give some of these gifts out to our companions. Wynne, would you like this fancy scroll? Oh. Yay! Liliana, would you like this Andraste's Grace? Oh, how dear of you. Thank you so much. Yay! Agrim, would you like this scented soap? <laughs> as if I needed that. <laughs> he hated it! I guess he took it as a sign that we were telling him to take a bath, but... Oops. Okay, okay, I got something better. What about a beard flask? Fashioned from a nug's stomach, this fascinating dwarven device is like a loose-fitting muzzle that sits beneath the beard and keeps the drinker's alcohol accessible even after he loses feeling in his arms. Okay, Ogren's definitely gonna love this. By my ancestors, this is a wonderful gift! Yay! It made up for the soap! Hmm, shale. What do you think shale would like? Maybe this remarkable green stone? A blue green stone with a pattern like a turtle shell? Shiny. Yay! Okay, he likes shiny things. Ooh, what about this pet rock? Someone has painted a pair of eyes and a goofy smile on this rock. Ooh, oh my god, he ooh. loves it! And we get to enter a name for Shale's pet rock. No. This is iconic. Rocky! Hang on, we need to go find Shale so we can meet his pet rock. We got a bunch of abilities for giving all of our friends gifts, but that's not even the point right now. I need to meet his pet rock. Shale, please show us Rocky! Guys, I can't get Shale to show me Rocky. Maybe we need to put him in the party the next time we're out adventuring. And by him, I mean her. Sorry for misgendering you, Shale. Okay, back to the gifts. We also have an uncrushable pigeon. This pigeon coos happily, apparently comfortable in the knowledge that no force could ever crush it. Are you up for a challenge, Shale? No, he hates it! <laughs> Sorry, man. I thought you'd like the challenge. Oh my god. But the uncrushable pigeon now sits on his shoulder! Oh my god, that's so fun! Sorry you hate it, but I think you made a new friend. Shale's making all kinds of friends today. Rocks, pigeons... Alright. Who's up next? Morgan. I bet you'd like this Onyx Demon statuette. Interesting. Muffin, do I have the thing for you? Here's the stick! Oh, he Muffin already loves me at max. Uh, that makes sense. Well, there's a stick, and here's an oxbone! Yay! Last but not least, we have Zevran. We got some Dalish gloves for you, man. You know, I could get to like this. The last time I came to Denerim, I stayed at an inn so filthy the bedbugs had fleas. Gloves? You're giving me gloves? What for? I thought you might like them? I did not mean to sound ungrateful, it is just... Wait, these are Dalish, are they not? My mother was Dalish, and had a pair very similar to these. The leather was less thick, and it had more embroidery, but these are very close, and quite handsome. You're welcome. Do I seem surprised? Perhaps I am. Still, I appreciate the fact that you even thought of me. No one has simply given me a gift before. Thank you. Oh, I'm so glad he liked it. Last gift we have is a rare Antivan brandy. Pulling the stopper from the bottle reveals hints of exotic passion fruit. The alcohol content is low by local standards. Just enough to keep the conversation flowing, as the Antivans say. You want this too, Zebran? I shall treasure it. Thank Yay! You. He loves me now! Woohoo! Well, that was a fun break in the action, given all our friends' presence. Most of them were well received. Uh, you know, we did our best. Anywho, now that our Santa Claus duties are complete, let's go speak to Eamon and let him know what we found. Ah, there you are. I was about to send out a search party. I've been hearing of a great commotion in the alienage. What exactly happened there? I have proof that Logan was involved in slave trading. Make her forgive me. I should be appalled that such a thing could exist here. 
But I'm overjoyed you can implicate Logay. We must end the civil war quickly. What the blight does not corrupt in this land, politics surely will. The last of our allies have arrived in the city. We cannot delay any longer. I will call for the Landsmeet to convene. Bring Alistair and join me at the palace as soon as you are ready, Warden. All right, the time is finally here for the Landsmeet. Before we go, maybe we should speak with Honora. See what she has to say. Is it true? Elena tells me that Al Iman has gone ahead to call the lands meet. It's true. I hope we're ready. Truly, I've never felt so ill prepared for a lands meet before. But it is in the Maker's hands now. You should hurry. Father won't waste time resting the proceedings from Iman. He will need you. I'll meet you there. Maker, wash over us all. I was hoping to get some inclination of where she stood for the lands meet, but I guess. The end of the day, I don't trust her as far as I can throw her, so we'll see how it goes. Alright guys, it's time to head to the lands meet. We need to go to the royal palace, the seat of Ferelden's rulers, and the location of the lands meet. Warden, I am not surprised it has come to this. And Alistair, if you were even remotely worthy of being called Merrick's son, you would already be in the lands meet. Now, wouldn't you? Wow! You have torn Ferelden apart to oppose the very man who ensured you were born into freedom. But do not. Uh, speaking of born into freedom, now he's selling slaves, so. The Hashtag hypocrite. Ferelden will confirm my lord as regent. Can you stop talking? Put this to rest once you are gone. Stop talking and she'll. No, that's challenging her to a fight. I'll say. How can you. No, I'll pers I'll go for <laughs> option number four of really of many minds here. Do you really not see what Logan has become? I'm aware that he has changed. It has been difficult for him to realize his own countrymen would turn against him. I'm not surprised he is bitter, but he is still a great man, one of the best Ferelden has seen. To support his war, he sold his own people into slavery. What was he supposed to do? You and Eamon were harassing him at every side, forcing him to empty the treasury to fight you. He never wanted a civil war. What was he supposed to do? I think he had many an option before he turned to slavery. Come together to fight the darkspawn without crying to Orlay for aid. He never anticipated Merrick's bastard would challenge the throne and force the These are the throne. weakest arguments I've ever heard, ma'am. How do you justify letting Arl Howe torture his subjects? You think war is simple, don't you, Warden? You only fight monsters. No one sheds a tear over the death of an ogre. Torture is an ugly business. But sometimes it's the only way to learn what your enemy intends. And it is much harder to tell who the enemy is when all of them look like you. How can you support the man who killed your king? Fine, you're right. What would you have me say, Warden? Logan is a great man, but his hatred of Orlay has driven him to madness. Finally, I'm that's what I wanted you to say. I know it. But I owe him everything. I cannot betray him. Do not ask me to. Then let me stop him. You know it's the only way. I wish I had died at Ostagar rather than live to see this moment. That's dramatic, stop Jesus. Him, stop him from betraying everything he once loved. Please, show mercy. Without Logain, there would be no Ferelden to defend. All right, well, I'm glad we managed to persuade her, but just because the guy was a war hero 30 years ago does not justify killing his king, throwing the country into war, usurping the throne, selling people into slavery. The list goes on and on and on. He cannot be forgiven. We're going in there to tell them that. My lords and ladies of the Landsmeet, Tyrn Loghain would have us give up our freedoms, our traditions, out of fear. Hit me with some political Please drama. Yet we should place our destiny in his hands? Must we sacrifice everything good about our nation to save it? You tell him, Eamon. A fine performance, Eamon. <laughs> but no one here is taken in by it. You would attempt to put a puppet on the throne, and every soul here knows it. The better question is who will pull the strings. Ah! Here we have the puppeteer. Tell 
us, Warden. How will the Orlesians take our nation from us? Will they deign to send their troops, or simply issue their commands through this would-be prince? How much Ferelden blood does Orlesian gold buy these days? The blight is the threat here, not Orle. Why are you like this? There are enough refugees in my Benorn now to make that abundantly clear. The south is fallen, Loghain. Will you let Darkspawn take the whole country for fear of Orle? The blight is indeed real, Wolf. But do we need Grey Wardens to fight it? They claim that they alone can end the blight. Yet they failed spectacularly against the Darkspawn at Ostagar. And they asked to bring with them four legions of Chevaliers. And once we open our borders to the Chevaliers, and we really expect them to simply return from whence they came. You fled the field at Ostagar and left Kaelin to die. Oh, please go on. The Landsbeat longs to hear a proper tactical analysis of Ostagar from an elf. You <laughs> oh my god, I want to punch all these people in the face so much. Believe the tales, <laughs> Lies, racism, oh my god. I am biting my tongue so hard here. Be what would you have Oof. me do? Kalen's was not the only life in my hands. Should I have sacrificed the entire army for his mistake? Do not imagine that you can shame me with Kalen's death. He was Marik's son. My king. No one regrets his loss more than I do. You sure? Because you don't really look torn up about it. Um, do you regret it as much as you regret selling elves to Tevinter? Selling elves? Explain this, Loghain. This is war. Did you believe it would be like the I love how that's his justification. This is Knights war, so selling people is okay. All outcomes are decided simply and with honor. War is cruel. Every soul who fought alongside Marek knows this. And in it, there are no such things as innocence, only the living and the dead, and the degrees of guilt both bear. Sacrifices were made. If they were too great, the Maker will judge me for it. But enough of this. I have a question for you, Warden. What have you done with my daughter? What have I done? I protected her from you. You took my daughter, our queen, by force. Killing her guards in the process. What arts have you employed you to just stop her? yelling? Like, Does oh my god, I want to punch your face I so much. I can speak for myself. <gasps> Lords and ladies of Ferelden, hear me. This warden has slandered and defamed Ferelden. Look, look at this! Anora betraying us again! Shocker! Oh, I knew you were working with Loghain. My father will always do what must be done for Ferelden. And it is clear to me now that you will not. Like father, like who daughter. Who can say that Anora is not fit to rule this land? And who can say that this Alistair is? We know nothing of him, save that he may have royal blood. For five years, Anora has been queen and proven herself worthy of the Theron name. She can lead our people through this crisis, and I can lead her armies. My lords and ladies. I can't believe how heated I'm getting about this virtual argument and these virtual people. Before. I'm over here like grinding my teeth. It's been invaded <laughs> and lost and won times beyond counting. We Ferelden's have proven that we will never truly be conquered so long as we are united. We must not let ourselves be divided now. Stand with me, and we shall defeat even the Blight itself. Southreach stands with the Grey Wardens. Yes, Southreach! Yes, Dragon's Peak! Western hills throw their yes, Western, the Western Hills! Make her help us. I stand by Boo Logan. that racist guy. No hope of victory otherwise. I'm with Logan. Boo you Who guy. Defeat the blight. Logan, I'm with you. This bodes ill for us all. How can they follow that traitor? The land's meat has spoken. Following these gray wolves. Uh, it sounded like more king. people were following the wardens. What are you talking about? It was like four against two. Country. I charge Eamon. 
Alistair and this warden with treason. What is happening? Take these traitors outside to await execution. To arms. We will not be taken without a fight. Finally, a fight. Yes, this is how I wanted it to go. Clearly, words weren't working. All right, let's kick these guys' ass. Do we get to kick Anora's ass too? I would love that. In the Maker's name, stop. We will have order. Agreed. Let there be no further bloodshed in the lands meet. Alistair's claim is challenged. In the days before King Callanhad, such claims were settled by duels. I mean, wasn't that basically a duel we were just doing? You stopped it because we were winning, Chantry agreed. Lady. Yes, if it will avoid further bloodshed. But it must be fought according to tradition, by strength of arms only, in single combat until one party yields. Do you accept the terms? Alistair accepts. I will be his champion. It is you or me the men will follow. So, let us fight for it. Prepare yourself. I love how I didn't even ask Alistair. I was just like, yup, he's doing it and I'm his champion. Let's go. combat I love it the heroes will win and Anora's gonna watch her dad die that's what you get for both of you being lying scumbags down he goes I underestimated you warden I thought you were like Kalen a child wanting to play at war. I was wrong. There's a strength in you that I have not seen anywhere since Marek died. I yield. You'll die for what you've done. Wait, there is another option. Patean is a warrior and general of renown. Let him be of use. Let him go through the joining. You want to make him a warden? Why? There are three of us in all of Ferelden, and there are compelling reasons to have as many Wardens on hand as possible to deal with the Archdemon. The joining itself is often fatal, is it not? If oh, survives, shut up, Anora! If not, you have your revenge. Doesn't that satisfy you? Absolutely not! Riord, this man abandoned our brothers and then blamed us for the deed. He hunted us down like animals, he tortured you! How can we simply forget that? Yeah, I agree with Alistair. Loghain has to die for his crimes. You can't do this. My father may have been wrong, but he is still a hero to the people. He was a hero for thir 30 years ago. Now he's evil. It's over. Stop treating me like a child. This is serious. Daughters never grow up, Anora. They remain six years old with pigtails and skinned knees forever. Father... Just make it quick, Warden. I can face the I love how he's changed his tune at the very last hands. second. Alistair, you should be the one to do this. I will. I owe that to Duncan. Don't do something stupid, Anora. Okay, that's actually kind of brutal that she got splattered with her dad's blood. <laughs> that is brutal. But <laughs> the deed is done. So it is decided. Alistair will take his father's throne. Wait, what? No. When did this get decided? Nobody's decided that. Have they? He refuses the throne. Everyone here has heard him. I think it's clear then. He abdicates in favor of me. What a I little weasel. The appropriate person she literally, like, just squirmed in there and was like, I'll Will take it! Will you help us? Honestly, I, I don't think Alistair will be a great king. He will be a kind king and a good person. I don't know how well he would actually lead, 
but Anora has already backstabbed us twice and showed how much of a conniving weasel she is. So I will take pure-hearted Alistair over conniving weasel Anora any day. So yes, Aemon, I can settle this. As the arbiter of this dispute, what is your decision? Who will lead Ferelden? Alistair. This is where I wake up, usually. Or oh, everyone points and laughs because I have no clothes on. Anora, the land's meat has decided against you. You must now swear fealty to our king and relinquish all claim to the throne for yourself and your heirs. If you think I will swear that oath, Eamon, you know nothing of me. Anora, be reasonable. Reason clearly had nothing to do with your choice, Warden. We cannot leave Ferelden in a state of civil war. We must have unity. If she will not swear fealty to you, Alistair, and renounce her claim to the throne, she is a threat to us all. What do you want me to do exactly? Kill her? I can't do that. I guess... Put her in the tower for now. Lock her up. Maybe we can find somewhere to send her. Later. Thank you, Alistair. You show me mercy that I would not have shown you. At least she's self-aware. Well. Guards, take her away. Bye, Nora. Enjoy your captivity in the tower. Miss ya. Your Highness, would you address the landsmeet? Oh, uh, that would be me, right? Um. <clears throat> I love how he's covered in blood saying I this never speech. Knew him, but from all I've heard of my father. What defined him was his commitment to protecting this land. Well, say, so get to the blight already. I was getting there. Anyway, the blight, yes. I may be Merrick's son, but I am also a Grey Warden. I took an oath. I swore I would stand and fight the Darkspawn, no matter the cost to myself. I can't break that oath just to wear the crown. I have to go with my fellow warden to face the blight. When the blight is over, I'll come back and take up my duties, whatever they are, as king. Until then, I think Al Eamon will have to be my regent. Then I can do Merrick's memory no less honor than you do. I accept. And may the Maker bless your Excellent. This is all working out in the end. My fellow Grey Warden will, I hope, take Loghain's place as the leader of my armies. Shall we finish this thing together? We will beat this blight as Kalen dreamed. Everyone, get ready to march. It's going to take all of Ferelden's strength to survive this blight. But we will face it and we'll defeat it. Maybe Alistair will be better than I was giving him credit going. for. Ferelden that was a decent speech. Us. There you have it. All's well that ends well. Loghain has been dealt with. Anora has been dealt with. We have everyone's support. We can finally face the Blight, and hopefully Ferelden can uh, settle down and become more stable. I love how Muffin's still wearing her cone. King. After all this is over with, they're actually going to put me on the throne. I'm still... I'm going to be the king. And here I thought you'd be speechless. Speechless? I'm furious. How could you do this to me? I've done nothing but regret my blood since the day I was born. I don't want this. I never wanted this. I hate the very idea of it. I knew that Arlima wanted this for me, but I never did. I thought for sure that there would be a way out of it. But then you went and put me on the throne yourself. Why? Would you prefer I had given Anora the throne instead? Yes. Well, no. She would have executed me, so that would have been bad. I've just never thought of myself as a leader. I'm going to make a terrible king, you have to know that. How can I make decisions that are going to affect the lives of everyone in the kingdom? I guess I don't really have a choice in this now, do I? I'll do my best, of course, and I expect that you'll be there to help me, right? If you want me there, of course I will. Good. Then it's settled. Arleman has left. Guess the Grey Wardens are gonna Arleman run for Elden at the end of this. <laughs> as soon as we're ready, we should head to Red Cliff ourselves. The blight awaits, right? Woo! All right, those were a lot of events. 
And we have one quest left, the final onslaught. We need to head to Redcliffe to prepare our army. Now that we have a king on the throne, it's time to do what we've been trying to do this whole time and defeat the Darkspawn. And if you guys like a good political drama, then who we? This episode should have been spicy. As I mentioned, I was actually uh, surprised at how emotional I was getting. I was getting very fired up at some of those comments. But hey, we uh, argued our place, won the duel, and now we finally can muster all of the armies of Ferelden under one banner to stop this blight. We'll deal with, you know, all the politics later. Speaking of later, guys, this is it for this episode. Hopefully you guys will join me next time for another episode of Dragon Age Origins when the final battle, the final act, the final chapter, whatever you want to call it, is going to begin. So buckle up, folks, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time.